All right, welcome to the Jones Zone, people, uh, where I talk about relatable topics in this segment. And I'm coming at you today because um, I had just gotten back from the gas station, and I had what could have been, let's just say what transpired, could have been some kind of fight or something like that, possibly. And I was going to the gas station, you know, when I run out of gum, I like to chew gum and stuff like that, uh, mint flavored, and I like mint candies and stuff. So I was like, I'm just going to go ahead and get, uh, go to the gas station, you know, fill up on that, come back. Um, and when I got there, there was a, a, a nice size line, you know what I'm saying? Like probably like maybe eight or nine people standing there and you know, I go in, I get in, get in line and the gum and all that kind of stuff is usually at the front. You know, so you don't have to worry about that until it's your turn. And while I'm doing that, this I look over and this big dude comes in there. This dude is big. I mean, this dude looks like Suge Knight. You know what I'm saying? He's he's got like the you can tell under his cap he's bald and stuff like that. He got the little the polar sausage. You know what I'm saying? Dimple right there in the back and shit like that. He's like uh six 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 seven probably over three hundred pounds for sure. You know what I'm saying? He comes in, he's on the phone and shit like that. You know, you can look at him and tell that this dude is from the hood. You know what I'm saying? He's like, oh, yeah, 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 you know, I, yeah, all right, I'm going to come through, I'm going to come through, you know, oh, yeah, yeah. You know, he's doing stuff like that. Big booming voice. Yeah, 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 you know. And I'm, you know, he he comes in and uh, there's a point where, like, when I stand in line, I kind of like to leave a little extra space. That's just how I like standing up on people because I don't like people standing up on me, you know. And there was a little bit of space and then um, there's a woman, she comes out. You know, from the back room, and she has, like, some boxes, and she comes up front, and she's stalking stuff. So I kind of look over, and I see what she's doing. My attention switches to her for a second. When that happens, you know, I, um, the big dude, you know, while he's talking, you know, he's kind of on the phone looking around, and he just turns, sees that extra space there, goes and just walks right there in front of me. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, whoa. You know what I'm saying? He butted, uh, butted the line and everything like that. But when he did it, it kind of, like again, it wasn't like he just boom. He, he kind of gradually, you know, he went over to it and everything like that while he was talking. It wasn't that instant like that. And then, uh, you know, so but so I kind of gave him the benefit of the doubt for a second. And look, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. It ain't got nothing to do with trying to fight or anything like that. It just has some due respect, dignity, and all that kind of stuff. And I don't like when people do that. So my ego did get the best of me. And I was like, hey, hey, big dog. You know what I'm saying? I look, you know, he turned, looked over his shoulder, you know, turned, faced me, looked at me. I kind of had a little bit of a smile, but I was looking him in the eyes. You know what I'm saying? I was, you know, uh, using my eyebrows. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, hey, you know, um, I'm in line, man. <laughs> you know, and I said that kind of like that. You know, looking at him, and I just stared him for like a good three seconds. He looked at me. You know what I'm saying? He's like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, my bad, uh, little homie. You know, and everything, and he, but he's still kind of on the phone. You know, it's like that. You know, he kind of waved his hand. You know, look, kind of stepped off to the side, and I, you know, retrieved my spot. You know, and um, that's just that's life, man. Stuff like that happens. Um, you know what I mean? And I just really wanted to to share that because it's, it's something. You know, had I allowed that to happen, this would have been something that would have been on my mind all day. I'm not gonna lie to you. I really do take things personal like that because. In the past, you know, I'm not going to lie, I have a history of being bullied. You know what I'm saying? And everything like that. Um, and usually this goes, this situation, it, it, it plays out one or two ways. You know what I'm saying? You don't say nothing, the person just ends up taking what they want. You know, they get it off on you. And if you do say something, I mean, I can really go three ways. But in this situation, I was counting on it just to go one or two ways because we're in a public space. I wasn't thinking that this dude was actually going to like haul off and try to do something, you know what I'm saying, but the point is, I was making it, I was making it a, a, a point, you know what I'm saying, that, hey, I'm, I'm not going to just stand here and just let anything happen like that, unless somebody just walk over me, like, yeah, look, I know there's going to be some people in there, oh, no, man, I would have, I would have stolen on dude, I would have fucked that dude up, I would have beat his ass and shit, I know there's people that's going to be watching this doing this, look, man, I'm going to tell you the truth, this is not a game. You know what I'm saying? This is not a, a, a Mortal Kombat or, you know, any of them type of games you got. This is reality. You know what I'm saying? And everything like that. Now, I don't think many of you understand what it feels like to have somebody of immense size, a powerful person, grab you, get a hold of you. You know what I'm saying? When you can't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? I don't think you understand what that feels like to have some boom, power, unrelenting power. You know what I'm saying? I don't think many of you have experienced that.
I've experienced what it's, look, what it's been like to have somebody put that unrelenting power on you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Knock you down. You know what I'm saying? Knock the wind out of you. Make you have to dig deep inside, you know what I'm saying, to over overcome that pressure, to get back up, you know. I don't think you understand that. I weigh 135 pounds, people. I'm not in the best shape like I used to be. I still got a little bit of power going on, you know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm kind of scrappy and stuff. I still got that fast twitch stuff going on, but 135 pounds. That's girl territory, dog. That's girl territory. There's some girls that be that lift and stuff. Women lift now these days and stuff. They go to the gym and everything like that. They work their legs out, their butts and everything like that. They're not playing. And I've seen some. They weigh 145 pounds solid. Yes, seen that. You know what I'm saying? Can absolutely demolish you. You know what I'm saying? As a, yeah, as a man, as a little dude. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying this is for people. If you have an ego and you think that's what it's about, because I've I've had an ego like that. It's laughable, man. 120, 130 pounds and stuff like that. Come on now. It's gonna run over your mother on a good day. Now with me on a good day, I'm be it'll be on a good day that I get my ass whooped. I don't know for them. You know what I'm saying? Or it, it'll be it'll be a bad day for me. You know what I'm saying and everything like that. I'm not gonna lie to you. You could be about 150, 160 pounds. You have 20, 30 pounds on me. You still and you're still fair game. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying for the average person who doesn't who isn't violent all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Who you know that's that's what I'm saying. You're in you're in female territory and stuff like that. You know, you're on the menu. You know what I mean? You are fair game. You know what I'm saying? If you're you know a guy, you're five, six, 120, 135 pounds. You know what I'm saying? That's just reality now. It's changed a bit. You know.